Have you ever heard of salmonellosis? It's a common bacterial disease that targets the intestinal tract. The culprit behind this ailment? A bacteria called salmonella. Now you might be wondering where you could come across this bacteria. The answer is closer than you think. Salmonella is often found lurking in everyday food items like poultry, eggs, unprocessed milk and meat products. So it's not something you can easily avoid. Now that we know what salmonellosis is, let's delve into its causes. So what exactly causes salmonellosis? Well, it's a bacterial infection, primarily caused by consuming food or water contaminated with a group of bacteria known as salmonella. This typically happens when we consume raw or undercooked food, especially meat, poultry and eggs. But it's not just the food that's raw or undercooked that poses a risk. Cross-contamination during food preparation can also lead to salmonellosis. Imagine you've cut raw chicken on a cutting board, and later you use the same board to chop vegetables without properly washing it. This can transfer the bacteria from the chicken to the vegetables, which might not be cooked thoroughly later. The bacteria can also be passed from the feces of people or animals to other people or other animals. It's a cycle that can keep going unless broken by proper hygiene and cooking practices. Understanding the causes is a step closer to prevention. But what happens if you contract salmonellosis? How can you tell if you've contracted salmonellosis? Well, the symptoms of this illness are often clear and hard to ignore. They typically start showing up 12 to 72 hours after infection. You may start to feel feverish and experience abdominal cramps that can be quite uncomfortable. But perhaps the most common symptom is diarrhea, which can be severe in some cases. These symptoms can last up to a week, leaving you feeling drained and unwell. So, how do we treat salmonellosis? The primary form of treatment is hydration. That means replacing lost fluids and electrolytes to help your body regain strength and function correctly. In severe cases, hospitalization may be required, and antibiotics might be used to help fight off the infection. Always remember, prevention is always better than cure. Practice safe food handling and cooking to protect yourself and your loved ones from salmonellosis. So, what have we learned about salmonellosis today? Salmonellosis is a bacterial disease caused by contaminated food or water and poor hygiene. It manifests in symptoms like fever, diarrhea and abdominal cramps, but can be treated with fluids and sometimes antibiotics. The key to preventing salmonellosis lies in proper food safety and hygiene practices. Stay safe, stay healthy and remember, knowledge is the first step to prevention. Thanks for joining us today and don't forget to subscribe for more health insights.